welcome again youtubers to my channel this is shell Docs channel i've been doing some shorts on the battery creating engine vibration and i don't think the short videos are driving home the point that well that your battery can cause your engine to vibrate well this is basically one of the cause of engine vibration and yes the battery can cause your engine to vibrate so because of these short videos and the, the lack of the quality of information that is required to give you the fuller understanding of how your battery can create engine vibration i decided that i'm going to do a little lengthier video on how your battery can cause your engine to vibrate assuming you don't have any other issues with the vehicle and you have a battery that is going bad and when i say a battery that is going bad i really mean the battery is no longer capable of maintaining a hundred percent of its charge because we all know that after some time using a battery in a vehicle the battery ability to maintain 100 percent charge is going to go down just like your phone you know over the, over a period of a year or two you keep the you have a phone and you keep charging the phone over time for that period you know after a while the battery is not going to be able to maintain the charge for longer for, for the hundred percent so you realize that the phone battery is going to go down now i'm going to kind of use that explanation in getting you to understand how is it that your battery is go is going to allow your engine to vibrate so let me just go ahead with the explanation and then i do a quick demonstration to show you what is happening when you turn on the engine and you allow the battery to you disconnect the battery and see what performance the engine is at and i'm going to use this bottle here with some water in it and what the water when if the water is vibrating or shaking up a lot it is telling you that the engine is vibrating somewhat and can give you a picture of the vibration of the engine so without the water it's going to be a little difficult to show you how the engine is vibrating all right so going ahead with the explanation of the the phone and your your battery here and the phone battery so you know that over a period of time the phone battery when it drains um and you're going to charge the phone battery if you should leave the the the, the phone charging for a little period of time and you hold on to the charger what you would realize is that you feel the charger very warm and what that is telling you that it is driving energy from the the charger into the phone that is charging the phone so the warmness of the battery of the the charger tell you that the, the the phone is being charged and it is sucking a lot of energy from the charger into the phone well in a similar way say for example you have your battery your car battery over a period of time what is going to happen is that the battery say a period of time of one year or two years going over two years your car battery is no longer able to maintain that level of charge that it requires so suppose it dropped to to about 70 percent it only able to maintain 70 percent of its charge what will happen is that when you start your engine the car alternator here will generate energy for the engine and it is also going to generate energy to charge back the battery but what the issue is is that the battery when it is new it keeps a hundred percent charge whenever the car is running and it will drop off a five percent ten percent and then the car gen uh, alternator will recharge it but it's a little bit of energy to recharge a battery of nine ninety percent going back up to a hundred percent but when you have a battery that is falling below um say 70 percent going up to 65 percent what is happening is that the alternator have to be working really hard to charge the battery and in addition to that just as though the the phone charger have to re work very hard to charge the phone the alternator here is have, have to work very hard to charge the battery up to a hundred percent from say 65 70 percent and it is going to take a lot of energy from the 
the alternator to do that now this energy that it is taking from the alternator is something that is required by the engine in order to operate it efficiently so the energy that the battery is taking is needed by the the engine to operate it efficiently so all of the sparking and the arcing that needs to take place within the engine cannot take place as efficient as it should and because of that you have um, the spark taking place lighter and the lighter the spark you know it will burn the air fuel mixture a little slower and this effect causes engine vibration so let me skip from here start the vehicle go into the procedure i'm going to remove the positive terminal one while the engine is working and look at the vibration of the engine and use the water level here to see you know how it is shaking to determine what level of vibration we're having with the engine so the procedure is start the engine look at the water level to see the vibration and then we're going to remove the positive terminal so that the battery is not being charged and then we're going to look at the water again to see if there's an increase in the in the um, vibrating effect of the engine if this is so when we remove the battery terminal if the vibration reduces then we know that the battery is going bad and the battery is creating some of the vibrating effect that we're getting by the engine all right let us go into the experiment all right so um here i have started the vehicle and we're taking note of the the movement of the water to give you an idea how much the engine is vibrating and what i'm going to do is to disconnect the the battery positive terminal and then we're going to see if there is any change in the the, the shaking of the water and if there's a slight change or uh, by reducing the amount of shaking the effect of the water what it would mean is that you know the battery is taking some of the energy from the engine to, to charge the battery all right so the battery is taking energy from the alternator to charge the battery energy that the the, the engine would require so let me just disconnect the battery here do a quick disconnection and see what the effect is at present the engine is not vibrating much so um, I'm not sure if there's going to be a great effect in the vibration reduction so let me move this and see what happens Alright, so I've removed the, the positive terminal from the battery and we have very little change in the vibration of the engine. So what it means is that the battery is actually properly charged and because of this we're not having any change in the vibration of the engine. So when you have a, a good battery, it means that your engine will run efficiently. However, your battery cannot maintain its charge, what will happen is that the vibration of the engine will increase because the, the battery is taking more energy from the alternator than what it should causing the engine to be suffering from a lack of energy all right so in this video it is not as um prominent as it should because the battery is working properly and the battery is fully charged so if you can carry out an experiment like this on your vehicle to see if the battery is draining too much energy from the engine because the battery is going bad you would realize that then the battery needs to be changed and again sometimes the battery can start the vehicle one and two times but it won't be able to start it on several occasions so that is how you know that your battery is going bad so um, this video does not turn out to be as much as I would want it to but the procedure is the same to determine if your battery is going back. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. Have yourself a nice day.